Hi there, I'm Daniel Houghton, and this is week nine, the final week of the Attack on the Town Hall Theater Miniature Diorama Project. Week nine Ooh. is where I paint and light and install the project in the glorious hey. display windows of the National Bank of Middlebury. <laughs> Weeks eight and nine took more than a week each. When I started the project, I thought there would be interesting topics to talk about each and every week, but as the project started to cruise toward the finish line, what I found was that a lot of the work remaining was just work. There were discoveries every day that I spent on the project, but from the point of view of an overview video series, not all of those discoveries merited a full video diary entry. So think of week nine as a mythic week, even though in reality it took a bit longer. I started by mixing my own airbrush paints and trying out an airbrush for the first time ever. I was worried when I started that it would glob all over the tiny details before I had arrived at the final color and contrast that I wanted. So I made a paint mix that was nice and thin and the airbrush did a fantastic job laying on the lightest layers, which kept all of the sculpted detail intact. Ooh, very nice. Then I painted some of the interior because I knew it would soon be glued inside and impossible to reach. Here I'm working on the front entrance and stairs to the balcony seating. Next up was brushwork. The airbrush is quick and easy on the sculpted detail, but it's inaccurate compared to an actual brush. So the remainder of the color work took a couple of tiny brushes and a lot of paint by number. Late in the game, my wife Megan, who was designing a socially distant hot chocolate hut for the pandemic Christmas, bought some tiny battery-powered LEDs for her project, and I saw that they would be perfect for lighting the interior of the building. So I got two strands, cool blue for the secret lab and warm yellow for the theater. Lastly, it was time to install. Doug Anderson got this awesome turntable that spins every four minutes. The guy who had hung the wreaths in the bank windows kindly raised them up two feet so they wouldn't block the otter's face. Some kids from the local daycare came by and asked if the monster was real or pretend, and then it was done. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of this sort of behind the scenes project work, let me know. And until next time, I hope you have fun with your own projects.